questions are being raised about a viral video showing a street vendor being handcuffed by police on San Francisco's Embarcadero. At the time, the woman's five-year-old daughter is screaming for her mother. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim tracked down the vendor and police to get answers from both sides of the story. Dion? Kristen and Larry, illegal food vending is an issue in San Francisco, and public health officials have been working hard to keep the public safe from foodborne illnesses. But it's video like the one you're about to see that raises questions about what happens when rules and protocols are lost in translation. This video, recorded outside Pier 39 along San Francisco's Embarcadero September 8th, is difficult to watch. Hot dog vendor Ana Luisa Casimir Hulka is seen on the ground being detained by police as her five-year-old daughter can be heard screaming nearby. The Port of San Francisco tells me they, along with the Department of Public Works and Public Health, conduct regular enforcement of unpermitted vending on port property. SFPD says they were providing security to those city workers and jumped in after they say Casimir Huka attacked a port employee. Yeah, because she's not doing what she's being told. She was then arrested for that assault and delaying an investigation. We found her today unable to vend, she says, due to her injuries and her cart being confiscated. My whole head, everything, bruised. How is it possible they did this to me? Rodrigo Lopez of the Mission Street Vendors Association says he doesn't know what transpired in the moments before the recording, but did not like what he saw. We are against uh, the violence. It is kind of harsh, uh, heartbreaking uh, to see uh, that incident, especially with kids and child uh, around the incident. That's unacceptable, the way I see, to attack or to uh, hang off a, uh, a woman like that, especially with child around. When I asked San Francisco police about the incident, they told me food safety and vending laws were broken in addition to the alleged assault. Also, quote, if the vendor doesn't like being arrested, she should reconsider how she behaves when the city workers are just trying to do their jobs. Lopez believes the language gap was a big issue in this incident and hopes enforcement officials can be more aware of that in the future. Uh, they got to be a training for them. Uh, how to engage with the community, how to engage with the uh, new uh, immigrants. They don't know the law, they don't know the rules. They are new to this country. They don't know, they don't speak English. Casimir Huka told me she follows all of the rules she knows of, such as using gloves, purchasing her goods from Restaurant Depot, and just wants to work in peace. The port tells me the Department of Public Health holds hearings where vendors can seek to recover their confiscated items. In the newsroom, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.